All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to start off first and foremost by giving all praise going on to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Adash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone, who rule and teach well, and peace, love, and salutations to the men out there pushing this word of truth and sincerity. It's your brother Nathan Yala coming back at you the spirit with another lesson. I pray and hope that it's edifying. All right, now this lesson. I just wanted to um, go into a dream that I had last night. Um, today is the 19th of September. I had a dream uh, last night. <clears throat> um, so in this dream, uh, it started off, I was in a room uh, with another man and a woman. And I believe the woman was my wife and uh, or, you know, a woman that I was married onto. And uh, this guy that was in the room was was uh, guarding her or something like that. Like I couldn't have her. Right, so he was, I guess he was guarding her for another man or himself or whatever. But um, I ended up killing that dude, you know, and taking her from him. Um, but uh, that was just the first phase of it. So then there was another part of the dream where we were in this house. And inside this house, I was in this room. And there was a bunch of people inside this room. Now, there were, uh, all hell was breaking loose. Um, there was no water. There was no food. There was no power. Um, there was military troops outside. People were running around scrambling. Um, they had these little uh, uh, minivans. And, and these minivans had um, mini guillotines inside of them. Okay, And they would set up these little stations outside of city blocks and just start chopping people's heads off. You know, that didn't want to comply. It was it was a it was a massacre, it was a bloodbath. And then you had all of the people that were fighting against each other. Okay. And um in the midst of that, I was inside this room with all of these people and everybody was frantic and scared. You know, what should we do? What should we do? In the dream I I stood up and I said, You need to repent. You need to repent to Yahweh Bashi Mihawa Shai. Now I don't know if this room was actually an internment camp that I was in because it was a whole bunch of people that were scared for their life or was it just an actual room in the building? I couldn't tell because it just had four walls and a light, you know, in there. And the people were just like, you know, um, repent. I was like, repent, man. Repent to your how about Shimmy how shy? And I was saying this clearly. And people were just like, who is this? Who, who is your how about Shimmy how shy? I'm like, that's, that's the heavenly father and his son. Those, that's the only way out of this mess. You know, that's the only way you're going to survive this is, is through calling out to those names. And, you know, um, at that moment, um, I was endowed with spiritual powers, right? And um, I had tremendous faith. It was, it was like the faith was so strong. It was so strong that you really couldn't distinguish me from my faith. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was inseparable. It was like I was faith, you know, like faith. I was faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, there was no wavering in it. It was just like so strong and it was such a hard connection to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at this time. And um, I was endowed with spiritual powers. I want to read this preset real quick. It says, this is Hebrews 1 and 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. So when I was in that room, you know, I've never seen Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not in the flesh, but, you know, we read about his works and we feel him through the spirit. And we hope, you know, through the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is with us and he's going to be there to protect us in that day. So when I had stood up in that room and displayed that faith, instantly endowed with, with spiritual powers, and I felt it, it felt like an energy or something like that that just like came over my body. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was overwhelming and I knew that I had the power, you know. Um the people on the outside looking at me couldn't really tell, but I knew that I had the power. So, you know, um I was telling everybody, listen, you gotta repent, you gotta repent. And there was little things that I was doing like fading fading through the walls. Um there was like some canned goods in there, some old cans and these cans you know, they were still intact. They didn't have, they had food in them still and they weren't open. So, you know, even though we were scrambling for food, you know, um, um, I took one of the cans 
and I say, hey, can you crush this can um, with your two hands? Put the hand, put put the can in your right hand and put your left hand on top of it and see if you can crush it. Nobody could do it. So I did it and I crushed the can flat with ease. It was like a pancake flat, like a really thin pancake flat and all the food just splattered everywhere. And they thought it was some kind of trick. So then they gave me a bigger can to crush, you know, and I took the bigger can and I also crushed that one with ease. And, um, you know, all the time that I was there, which was quite some time, all I would talk about is repenting to Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. No conversation and nothing else. Just repenting to Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai, you know. And um, these people in here started to hate me. I mean, except some of the women. The men were literally hating me. They were upset that I kept mentioning that name, you know? And 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 uh, one of the guys had a pen with some poison in it and he reached out to try to stab me and I perceived it and knocked the, um, the pen out of his head and tapped him into his chest. And he literally flew into the wall like on some old Superman anime, whatever type crap and, and crushed the wall and his body just went splat. But it wasn't like it was, you know, no, no. My man was dead. It was like the, the impact crushed his chest and him hitting the wall crushed the rest of his body. And in my mind, I just tapped him. You know, I just like, you know, like a little tap like that. If y'all brothers can hear that. And this dude went flying and he was a pretty big dude. All right. So then, um, you know, let me grab another precept. Um, uh, not that one. Um, let's see. It says, uh, this is Psalms 110 and 3. It says, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. So the Lord is going to endow us with this power, man. And when that happens, you're going to get a lot of people that's going to be like, OK, I'm with you. Because there was a lot of people that were mad at the fact that we were able to do this stuff, that was upset, that hated me for it. But there were some, mostly women, may I add. There were some men, but it was mostly women that looked upon this and was like, I'm going with that guy. All right. And um, um, they were willing. They were willing. They were they were. Whatever you need us to do, man, we're following you. And um, they came, um, the troops came into that room and it was about to kill everybody in the room. And me and those people that had believed, I just grabbed those people and we just kind of like faded through the wall. Like literally became translucent and just faded into the wall. And when I reappeared, I was in the sky holding everybody, you know. And then we went, I went back down to the ground and um, me and the people that were with me, because I was protecting those people, you know, um, there were uh, uh, men trying to rape the women and take the women. There were men trying to take the men. And um, there was a, a bunch of men in a, uh, in a, in a ma in mass in the car. Right. And they were they had guns and shit like that. And they were looking to 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 take all of the women and children and men that were with me. And again, I perceived what they were trying to do. And I just appeared in front of their car and grabbed their car by the bumper and tossed it. Like literally just flicked it. Like, like it was a, like it was a goddamn um, hot wheel, you know? And it flew like six to eight feet up in the air and landed and crushed everybody in the car, you know? And everybody looking at me like, what the hell? How in the hell are you doing all this stuff? And I'm like, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, this power is not of mine. This power is from the Lord. That's what I'm telling you guys. Repent and turn to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. At least you be saved. You know, at least you be destroyed. You know. And um, um, there were helicopters. There, man, it was all type of craziness going on in that dream, but. The whole point of the matter was the Lord had turned, had endowed his men, because I wasn't the only one with spiritual powers. And we literally had power. And our faith, our faith was so strong 
And that's why I wanted to bring out the scripture um, in Second Ezra. As for faith, it shall flourish because the flourishing of faith is going to start with the elect on this side. Okay. The elect are going to believe and have strong faith on this side. And that faith is going to transfer into the kingdom, you know, because how are you going to get saved unless you have faith that the Lord is going to save you? You see, if, if you don't have any faith that the Lord is going to save you and get you out of this terrible situation, right? You're not going to be saved. So when that faith that the men of the Lord have is answered by the Lord, that faith is going to be transferred into the kingdom. OK, so that faith is going to flourish because no one is going to forget what we were going through and what the Lord did to put us in that position of authority and power and peace and rest in the kingdom. OK, as a second as was uh, um, six and twenty eight, it says, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome because we're not going to be corrupted anymore, you know. We're going to have glorified bodies and we're, we're going to be endowed with spiritual powers on this side. So on a level, on a certain level, we're going to be glorified on this side. You know, the Lord is going to take these weak, frail bodies and put power on them and unlock these bodies. And we're going to become warriors again. OK. It says corruption shall be overcome and tr and the truth. Right. Because the whole time I was telling everybody to repent to Yahweh, about Shemi Shai. The whole time I'm like, repent, 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 because this is the truth. You got to turn back to the Lord because the Lord is life. All right. It says the truth, which has so long been without fruit, shall be declared. So that all of this is going to be transferred from this side, from the elect, from 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 the corruptible side to the incorruptible side. You know, because the elect are going to see that they're going to understand. So they're going to all that. All that stuff is going to be declared throughout the kingdom of heaven from the elect and the one third that were saved because they're going to understand. They're going to really know. They're going to have it in their mind because they a lot of them have, you know, you have some that's going to see death, but even then they're going to be risen from the dead. First in Yahweh Bashim So they're going to have a clear understanding of what they went through on this side and they're going to get, all that's going to get transferred to the other side. So there's never not going to be, even though the, the, the law, statutes and commandments are going to be written upon us, you know, in our mind and in our hearts, we're going to understand what the Lord did on this side. And we're going to always have the type of faith that we will be able to do anything. You know, anything that we want to do through the spirit and power of the Lord, we'll be able to do because we're going to have faith in, in the Lord. All right. And uh, it's going to be declared forever and ever and ever. All right. Now I'm going to go to this last precept and bring this out because this, this right here, you know, this this scripture um, was really kind of going into uh, how right now we're fishing, but the Lord is going to raise us up to be hunters. And how is he going to do that? He's going to give us spiritual powers. You know, um, we're already on a level, got spiritual powers right now from this wisdom. But eventually the Lord is really going to truly unlock the power within us. And um, and give us that spiritual that that spiritual power, you know. As I said, it, it, it camp yesterday, you know, um, our bodies are like little uh, walking nuclear power plants, and to have access to that power, we need the spirit of the Lord. Okay, and um, at this current moment, we do have the spirit, but it's not going to be like it is when the Lord puts that spirit on us and give us that power, man. All right, and it says, behold, this is Jeremiah 16 and 16. It says, behold, I will send forth many fishers. All right, so the Lord has sent for uh, many fishers. You know, that's why you see us out there in the highways and the byways week in and week out doing this work. You know, we never take a break, we never take any time off. Brothers fighting to get out there to serve you. How about Shimmy, how about throughout all the elements and things that they got to do, you know? Brothers making tremendous sacrifices through the spirit of the Lord to get out there to teach this word. All right. And 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 I'm speaking for myself, but I know this applies to every brother, you know, in, in GMS and, and brothers that teach the like minded doctrine that are truly sincere. 
This is truly a labor of love, and we enjoy going out there serving the Lord, okay, and teaching and doing what we need to do. So that's what we're doing with fishing, okay? It says, Behold, I will send forth many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And we, we have been fishing. The camps have been growing, right? Um, brothers have been getting on the level. Brothers' lessons have been getting sharper, harder, more and more and more concise, you know? And, and we've been pulling, we, we, we've been um, um, waking, it, we've been waking men and we've been waking women up, you know? And it says, uh, after, and after I will send forth many hunters. And there you go. That's where the power comes in at, okay? Because it's, no, it's not always going to be some peachy, you know, oh, we're just going to be out in the highways and the byways teaching thing. Eventually, the Lord is going to stop that. And it's going to be time to get busy. It's going to be time to go to work. And if you don't think that the men of the Lord are going to be putting people out their misery on this side, you got another thing coming, man. You know, we're going to be healing people, but we also going to be putting people to death. All right. We're going to be crushing their chariots and their armies. We be burning people up with the power of the word. You know, a lot of men going to have uh, super strength and durability. Uh, I'll be able to phase through walls. A lot of the things that, that I talked about in the dream that I had, men are going to have those powers, right? And we're going to hunt people. Now, ultimately, when we continue on, it says, and they shall hunt them from every mountain. It's talking about every government. So all you elites that go into hiding, that think you're going to get away, you're not getting away. And from every hill, all of y'all, many governments, and out of the holes of the rocks. Because we're going to bind you with chains of fetters and iron, man. All right? And you're not going to be able to stop us. Because the power that we're going to have is going to be an a world, a, a otherworldly power. Okay? The power to defy physics in this realm. To change reality in this realm. Okay? That's the type of power that the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai is about to bestow upon us. All right? That's the type of power that the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai is about to bestow upon his men. All right? And this dream that I had was so real that it actually felt like that it was reality. And I never wake up in the morning and remember dreams. I always forget my dreams. I always, you know, I, and I rarely have dreams of moments like this. But this was a, you know, if you're a man that's not in the truth, a woman that's not in the truth, this is a very frightening thing, especially with the mini guillotines, man. You know, you think that you're going to be taken to a concentration camp and they're going to cut your head off. No, they're going to be bringing them things to your ass, man. And they're going to get pleasure in watching people line up and get killed and chopped up by these damn guillotines, man. All right. And the only way out of this is Yahabashi Mihawashai. So with that... I mean, it off by giving all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Kadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone, rule and teach well. Until the next time, I keep Shalom.